Welcome to 12 Days of Reuse with DIY Studio, your creative reuse center in Salem, Oregon. Today we're going to be making this mouse trap document holder. You can put pictures or any papers you want inside of it for your home or office. Come follow me inside the studio and I'll show you how to do it step by step the DIY way. So these are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need some water and some paint brushes, some Mod Podge fluid, um, some papers, decorative papers if you want. So this is pretty much if you're going to Mod Podge um, the rat trap. If not, you can also just paint it. Um, the other thing is um, some really super duper strong magnets, some plumber's goop. This is really strong, great glue, especially to use on jewelry. Um, you'll need something, a decorative element to eventually hang up. You'll of course need your rat trap and your pliers and some scissors. So let's get started. The first thing that I am going to do is take off this hardware. Uh, the mechanism that I'm going to keep is this little uh, piece that actually holds things together, but I don't want my kids ever to actually set the trap and you know hurt each other with it. So I'm gonna take that off. It should be pretty simple. Um, I'm just taking out these pins with my pliers. Give it a good tug, wiggle it a little bit. Oop. See, it will come out. Um, the next thing is actually this copper piece you want to take out as well. And who knows, maybe you're going to use this for another project. You can definitely save these elements and use in um, maybe a mixed media piece that you're going to do. So that was super easy. And you can see how eventually this will clip down and it'll hold any papers or any um, pictures or anything that you want to put down. The next thing you're going to do is pick out some decorative paper. So I have some, but what I'm going to do is cut it right at the place where this spring is. And then I'm going to see if I can slide it underneath that decorative pin. Yep. Using the pliers, I just pick up that pin a little bit and shimmy it down. That's perfect. Um, then I'm going to start adding glue. So Mosh Posh is a great sealer's glue. People have been using it for generations now. Um, and it's pretty much for decoupage. You can also, if you don't have this on hand, you can use an Elmer's glue. This Mosh Posh is, is a really thick, nice glue. Um, and I really like the consistency of it. So pretty much when you're using Mod Podge, make sure that you have glue at the bottom and then also glue on the top. So you're pretty ma much making a glue and paper sandwich is what you're doing. And it really just helps seal it once you paint on the top. So paint on the bottom, your glue, and then seal it at the top. Just make sure you get all the edges really well sealed. Perfect, so that's half of it. Um, I'm going to continue with the same kind of color scheme for the bottom part, but I'm going to cut out a little bit um, on the edges so it will slide underneath that spring a little bit better. So I'm just going to estimate cutting in on the edges. So after we've cut out the paper, now we're just going to open up the trap and slide that in and see how that fits. That actually fits really well. So now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did towards the top of the rat trap. I'm gonna open up the hinge, paint some glue on the back side, and then paint the glue on the top side. People that have a hard time 
making, um, getting leverage with their hands, or maybe they have arthritis, might want to stick to simply painting this. I just like the look of the decorative paper. So once again, just seal it up. We're making a Mosh Posh and paper sandwich. Really simple. I'm gonna put another layer. And now I'm going to decorate the top. I have these cute little cutout um, roses. I'm gonna just place them down where I want them. That looks cute. Once again, we're just sandwiching that with a layer of glue. mosh push. Now let your mosh push dry and you'll know it's dry when it's completely clear and it's not sticky to the touch. So now that your mouse trap is dry from the mosh push, the next thing we're going to do is put on the magnets. Now I said these are really strong magnets. They are super, super duper strong. I have a hard time even getting them apart. Um, and I really like these type of magnets. First, what we're gonna do is just put on a dab of this goop and make sure you have the right side that sticks to metal. Actually, I'm gonna put it right there in the middle. And then the next one I'm going to put down here. Because I think they're a little too strong and they might actually try to stick together if I put them too close together. This glue takes quite a long time to dry. I would let that dry overnight. So now the mouse trap is actually dry, the Mod Podge is dry, and then also the glue is dried on the back when securing the magnets. So simply add it to your refrigerator. You can even drill it into a wall, um, and you can hang any documents you'd like in it, schoolwork, pictures, mementos, whatever. You can add a bunch of these up on your wall. That would be a great decorative detail um, to your home or office. Thanks so much for tuning in to 12 Days of Reuse with DIY Studio. Have a happy holiday.